You guys, if you're on the moon in the future, you will still be able to download your favorite apps and you can do it super fast. Yay. Hey people, Trace here, rocketing into our very first weekly D-News space update. I'm super excited for this. When you're up on the moon, what would you like to do for a day? You know, like, hang out? Study rocks, maybe? But when you're done with your work as a big shot astronaut moon researcher, how could you kick back and watch Game of Thrones? What I'm getting at is there is no internet in space. Well, at least not space age internet. I mean, it's like, it's space age if you think of now as the space age. Okay. The International Space Station currently gets 10 megabits per second download and 3 megabit per second upload, which is about the same as a home internet connection, which is actually really surprising to me. Basically, they could download an HD iTunes movie in like an hour. Outside of the ISS, the newest tech is deployed on Mars. The MSL Curiosity can communicate with its orbiting partner, Odyssey, at around 250 kilobits per second for the speed of slow DSL. <laughs> Remember DSL? So why is internet in space so slow? because we haven't upgraded it yet, silly. NASA is currently working with a number of other space agencies around the globe to send a brand new satellite into orbit around the moon called LADY, or the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environmental Explorer. Pretty standard science-y stuff, but it's going to have the fastest internet ever. Using laser communications from the satellite to three locations here on Earth, the LADY will achieve data rates of 622 megabits per second, or about five times faster than the fastest regular internet here on Earth. This satellite could download that same iTunes movie in about a minute. Using speeds like this, NASA could, if they send another mission to the moon, send 3D HD video streams back here to Earth and maybe even someday use this new extranet, <laughs> I just made that up, I don't think they're gonna call it that, to enable astronauts to video chat from the moon. So why are they doing this? Well, to prove the technology is viable for one, but also to replace radio communications that we've been using the entire history of space communications. We're going from radio waves to light waves. It's time to upgrade space. So what do you think of this new space tech? Do you want it here on the ground? Because <laughs> I know I do. Share your thoughts with us on our Google Plus page and keep coming back to testtube.com slash dnews for more great vids streamed to you on this slow ass terrestrial internet.